Oh, hello guys. Today I'm going to show you how to carve this gorgeous bowl. Only with hand tools. No lathe needed. I find carving with hand tools has a lot more natural look to it. You can feel every knife mark, every cut mark. It's so much more character. It's lovely. For this process, we're using lime wood. This wood smells is beautiful and it carves nicely with no tear out, which is lovely. You can use any wood though, you can use pine, but it will give it more tear out. You can use oak, but it'll be harder to carve. It will work, so don't put off if you haven't got the right wood. The materials for this project are minimal. In the range of knives, some super sharp knives to some blunt knives to help you driven cut knife cuts. And on a crook knife, it's basically a spoon carving knife and a gouge and a saw. So that's basically it guys. Let's get making. Now to find the centre of the wood blank. To do this, I recommend using a square. And so it's going to be all in centre. When using a crook knife, remember where your fingers always are. Now your bowl is roughly cut out, you want to start carving. We're going to use a nice fixed blade knife. This is the Mora. They're super sharp and so cheap. I think this is £9. When carving, always keep the thing close to your body. This helps the safety and help. You're going to use a nice half grit sandpaper, like 60 grit. Now you sanded the bowl throughout the grips, I recommend finishing off with something called Abronet. This is 320 grit, but Abronet lasts four times as long as normal sandpaper, and seriously it does. I haven't bought any spare Abronet yet, I probably bought it around about a year ago. And now you're ready to wax. You're ready to buff your bowl up. <laughs> 